Okay, still around the outside of Notre Dame, we're gonna get some closer looks at some of these gargoyles. As close as we can get. You can see it's still, well, it's under construction in some places. I think it's been off and on that way for a long time. Uh, just a little grotesque. I love gargoyles. I've never seen one actually during a rainstorm. Although with the clouds looking the way they are, I might get lucky this evening. Well, it depends on how much patience I have standing around outside Notre Dame. I think I was in line for about half an hour. So I went and grabbed a sandwich and then it took me at least five minutes to find the end of the line because it kept snaking around. And I'm trying to be careful while I do this to keep my purse under my arm so as to avoid getting pickpocketed. I had a close call when I was in Istanbul a couple years ago because I was digging around for my friend's bag of uh, cat snacks that she brought out and we were outside Tepkapi Palace in Istanbul and there were tons and tons of stray cats. We were, I was trying to find my picture or my camera to take her picture and digging around with my bag slung over my shoulder behind me and then I turned to look and there was this man who was standing inches away from that shoulder and uh, he didn't take anything but I might have caught him just before he had a chance to. So note to whoever, if you're actually going on a big trip to a large city, it's good to have some sort of purse that can fit under your arm, kind of like that. I'll show you. See, that's my purse. I can get into it easily, but it fits pretty well under my armpit. Let's hang on a sec. Okay, let's keep walking. I'm gonna try not to bump into anyone because that might be a little rude if I did. Anyway, tons and tons of cafes, sidewalk shops. We grabbed a few souvenirs earlier. Not quite the fashion excursion that they say that you ought to have when you're in Paris and go shopping and buy like Chanel everything or God knows what. But I have some cheap souvenirs. Hey look single stained glass window. It must be a replacement. Yeah. So anyway, I've been practicing my French. Here. Whoa. Okay, those of you watching at home may be getting really seasick. And I do apologize for that. Try not to give you too much of the Blair Witch camera. But you can see we're getting to the front of the building here. And people, 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 people. Ooh, there's a big statue back there. Ah, here we go. There's somebody. Here, we'll just kind of look real slow. Lots and lots of detail. You know, my frame of reference for some of this, which is kind of sad, depending on how you look at it, is the Disney cartoon, um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I just think of that scene at the beginning where they're saying, hey, don't drown that kid in the well because the eyes of Notre Dame are staring at you. And then they have this poignant moment where you see tons and tons of faces all watching and looking. I guess that would be fairly intimidating if you're thinking of doing something you shouldn't. Yep. We are being watched. But there's lots of great detail. And if you go inside Notre Dame, you know, they have some beautiful stained glass windows. And those are the biggest features. I got. I also took some pictures inside the treasury of, uh, well, some heads sticking out of the wall, because I'm kind of fond of those. And um, a tunic from the 13th century that was worn by a saint, apparently. So I gotta get that detail for the people who like to recreate historical costumes. And uh, let's see, yes, that is still a line. It snakes around, you can see way back there. People are coming around basically from about halfway up that piazza. 
fact, is where I started in the line earlier. I had enough time to eat an entire foot-long sandwich while I was standing and walking and, you know, various and sundry things. But anyway, it's been over five minutes. We should end this video. So you can move on to the next account of what will happen in my future right now.